Hello everyone. Um, sorry for only starting now. Um, uh, it seems that I'm dropping frames, but I don't know why, and I don't have time to restart the net, so I'll just continue on. Um, so I'm back f for more the outer worlds. Um, yeah, so we just finished the. I just finished the Roseway region. Um, I needed to get money so that I could get the nav key from Gladys, I think. Yeah, so let's just go in and play. Tell me again if um, the, the sound is okay. I like what you've done with the place. Kitschy collectibles are such a human inclination. Glad you like it, Ada. I forgot what I was gonna do. Okay, so I, uh, I remember. I think I was gonna go back to Groundbreaker. Yes. Groundbreaker. Let's talk to the guys. The crew. Oh, oh, I'm gonna return the acid thing to Sam. Let's see. Install the acid steeper. Oh. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Yes. Registering new owner. Captain! Welcome to the cruise. Oh, so where did you come from? All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Oh. What do you say, Sam? You want to help me clean up this colony? Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. So it's a janitor bot. Welcome to the crew, Sam. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. I'm glad you're enjoying this. What, what are you gonna do? So is he part of the... Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Sam! Merciless on germs! <laughs> so Sam is part of the crew now, I guess. That's what it means. So I have one more room for another person. Where's the stuff that I found? I wonder who, who took it in. Um, was it this book? Was it this book? I don't think it's that book. Was it this book? I don't remember anymore. Uh... Let's go. Oh, I think it's this book. No. I honestly do not remember anymore. I found some leather stuff as well. Don't know who took it. And some. Uh... 
forgot the other thing that I found. Hey there. Hey Ellie. Just looking around. Don't mind me. Talk to them. Let's talk to Felix. Good to see you, boss. Never mind. Apparently, you don't have anything to talk with him. How about Ellie? Oh. Something on your mind? Sorry. Uh, nothing. Yes. Oh, he's cleaning. That's nice. Let's talk to the vicar. As always, I am at your disposal. I need to stand up, but what's okay. occupying your thoughts? Blah 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 blah. Okay. Guess I talked to everyone about everything now. Uh, let's try par, buddy. Hey. You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor. I wonder sometimes. You met that auto mechanical clunking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without them giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. Oh. Um. So, I guess if I can bring Sam along, I'll probably bring him and... and, um... Harvardy to Groundbreaker, since, um... Harvardy has that thing that she wants to drink. Uh, I guess I have to just... Uh, uh, was it this one? I don't remember. This is mine. Right. No, this is mine. 36 arm. So this is par readies, I guess. 26. And this 10? Yeah, that's a 10. Um. I'll just jump. And I guess I have to go to... Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Thank you, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Mm hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. Let's go. Yeah, I can take Sam. Guess that's it. Hey, Spacer's Choice has a dyed toothpaste already. Then why is Auntie Cleo making one? Hello, Sam. Let's see what Sam's stuff is. Oh, so he doesn't have armor. But he has, uh. Oh, his is permanent. Corrosive blaster and corrosive washer. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is interesting. That's his health and stuff. Oh, he's like a tank. I get it. So I guess I'll make him... More likely to be attacked. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh. Uh, range damage, please. Ooh, Sam is cool. Decontaminate. Sam jumps in the air and slams down near his target, spewing out caustic cleaning fluids all around to get those really stuff. To get out those really tough stains. Okay, that's nice. It's quite cool that we that that's one of the choices. Let me talk to him. Let's Battery see. levels are fully charged. I like his. I like the way he talks. Thank you, customer. This area is utterly filthy. <laughs> Where's poverty? Oh, there you are. Um. So I guess we gotta go to Gladys first. You see, we had a conveyor pull in. One of them interstellar jobs. Part of the summer. And then we go to the bar because Parvati wants a drink. Somehow. Hello. 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 Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Maybe. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I already did, you know. Uh. Eight. Oh, I, I have 10,000 10, bits already. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. Okay. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? I investigated the distress signal. What's that? Speak up now. Uh, about... Oh, okay, I get it. About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Um... I acquired some research on Raptodon Musk. Interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptodon? Gracious, someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Um... Found a prototype weapon from Force, and I'm selling you by Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. How much you're paying me? How much? Where's the money? I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Wanted to ask you something else. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Maybe. Um, you mentioned groundbreakers outside of Bobo. No. Oh, yeah. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lei. Uh, what do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Uh, back to other Go questions. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Uh, what do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Mm. Knickknacks. Curios. You're a fence. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. With the hair? I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. Oh. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Uh, why the boar recall the stellar bane ad keys? Ask the common folk? And they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. 
never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one bored screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Mm. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Thank you. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Wheel. Wheel. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. <laughs> Area analysis is as follows. Significant dust and spore. Concentration. Vacuuming estimate. Calculated. Calculating. Calculating. Oh, that's a long time to calculate. Uh, I still have lots of money. I didn't know this. Uh, so next would be... Uh, now, oh yeah, I have the key now. Can go to... Monarch. I think the other stuff is in Scylla. Yeah, Scylla, and then there's the GB-23. Okay. I guess this means I gotta go to Scylla as well. Because there's, like, a lot of stuff there. Yeah, before I go to Monarch. Well, it depends on what's the thing that... Uh, forgot her name. This lady. <laughs> Oh, there's no elevator music. This one, Lilia. It depends on what Lilia wants me to do for her. Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. I've got the nab key to Stellar Bay. Sure is. Welcome aboard, Contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Oh, what's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Oh, unconventional. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. How unconventional. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Oh, it's a snuff. Uh, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after the gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Mm. I'll take the job. <laughs> now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Oh. Understood? Scary. Uh, what am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything. Except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Don't say that far already, because I'm worried now. No, I'm not. Job assessment. It's a mess. You're cool, Sam. I like you. So I guess we're going to the bar because Parvati needs a drink. 
Ooh, faction quest. That's what it's called. CNP near Maple Dirt. It's near this complete precedent. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the... Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Expert. Oh, don't worry on I the just... price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I just woke up from a very long cryogenic sleep. Um, um, um. Yeah, perception. I sure want to do this. You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just. That's on account of mine not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what Jim Lay said, and feeling my heart shake. Oh, that's so sweet. Let's start with wine, since you don't like oh, beer. Oh, wow. You remembered. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Have an urgent or an embarrassing spill? <laughs> Wipe it away with Sam's emergency stain disappearing gloop. Disclaimer, gloop may dissolve skin or flooring on contact. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> it's cute. Uh, generally or specifically? I mean, just with Junlei. What uh, do you do about um, us? I know. I can't tell you. I I, I want to say shrug, cause like, uh, um, let's be nice. Oh, I just, <sighs> if it's me, like me personally, I would just shrug. I'll be like. I don't know. What do you want to do? Okay, start by telling me. Why well, her message got you so unsettled? Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Uh... Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. Okay, sorry. Um. But what she actually did in, in the message, you have it said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Uh, what is this really about? I wanna put... Why are you asking me? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. This is going by so fast. Um, oh, what about me? What? About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Uh... <laughs> These are all bad answers. <laughs> I would have said... You shouldn't worry 
blah blah blah. Uh, how about this one? I think this one's the pretty. Oh, there's scene. nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. Oh. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. But. That's. Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, well, she's not? Nothing's good with you just seeing. Kind of like five. You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. Oh, that's so sad. But these other ones are a little patronizing sounding. What do you mean, Captain? <laughs> well, we move around, my hand. <laughs> um, trying to manage others' feelings will drive you crazy. So I should just be myself. You sound like my dad. It's sweet. You know, I've been asleep for seventy Gosh, years, so I may be your dad. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Uh -huh. Something to work on. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Anytime. I don't want to pry. Do you think I should ask her on a well, date? There it is. Um... I don't want this one. What does the booze tell you? Um, I think determination. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. I'm one person. Warning. Low battery. Unit is engaging reserve pack. While using the reserve pack, unit may periodically enter a rest cycle. If unit does not wake, consult manual 81-XC5. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live. Should I have brought together. someone else, not Sam? Come on, let's go. Oh, This is nice. Storyline. Um, is there anything I have to do here in Groundbreaker while I'm here? I don't think so. Yeah. Yep. Nothing here, so I guess I gotta go back to the ship now. Pat, did you see the whole conversation? Or did you miss it? Captain, I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Did you talk to June Lei? I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Mm. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay. Uh, uh, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Uh, I was gonna say, she said it in the most awkward way possible. Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is so hilarious. It's just so cute. They're so cute. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. Hey! Meanie. Um... Don't... Don't know what to do with some of these. Do I just... I think I'll just convert them to... Oh, let me check on... Their weapons. 118. Oh, I need to change this one, I think. Um, uh, a mace that would be great. A mace. Uh, Felix, six fifteen. Ellie, and kind of want to give the plasma rifle to Felix. Oh, he should have a different weapon as well. Plasma rifle? Shock cannon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the plasma rifle. Maybe I'll just buy a, another gun and give it to them when I have the time. I don't know if I should keep... It's so hard. I'm a hoarder. I just like to hoard. I should give Vic or Max the scythe then. Maybe I should give Parvati the pulse ham. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, 
Oops. Uh... lot of mods I should mod my weapons and repair them then I go out mod, mod, repair first as my car repair them all there. Uh, modify I want to change it to plasma. Uh, I already have one. It's already plasma. It doesn't extend those sides. Sure, I think. Uh, assault rifle. What's? Oh, it's the shrink ray. That's why it doesn't say it. Is this mine? This is mine. Melee and defense, dialogue elite. I want this one. That's it. I guess I should install the other mods as well. I mean, just buy another. Very easy to find. do first. I want to do the relay thing first. Just so it's done. And out of my hair. It's out of my head. Gosh, there's a lot of other planets. Wonder how long this game will be. Uh, relay. Whatever. Hello. Oh, it's a small place. Mm. Who do I take? Uh, I guess parts Ellie and Sam. Just to try out Sam. Not necessarily to like um, do anything else. Estimated cleaning time, 59.11 minutes. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. Ooh. What's in here?
Praise Journal. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned to Delilah, who was beside me and did not question why I super fires her. Whoa. Right after her neck. Oh. 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 Weird. What was that? Uh, so I guess I'm going to come out here. What was I supposed to do? I was gonna... The terminal to activate relays located inside the central control room of the relay station. Each relay transmitter maintains a backup of messages. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I have to turn on the relay. Uh, oh, robots. Uh, can't go in there. Glad I brought another robot with me. Oh. Can I do something with that? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, yes, Pat. I told her to go with what she feels like she should do. And she said yes. Don't worry, I have this recorded. So you can watch it back on YouTube when I upload it there. You'll see my entire reaction to... To Parvati asking me what she should do. And I'm like... Why am I telling you what you should do? You should think of what you should want to do. I know I shouldn't be giving advice, but you know, like, it, it, it's your thing. Do what you want, girl. Oh, I'm supposed to go through here. Get it? I get it. Level design. What do I do with that, though? Oops. Didn't even shoot there. Shot it. Oh, sorry. Uh, forgot to turn on the sound. Uh, uh. I had to start a new journal. Cannot read previous entries about the whispers tempting me. Oh. Is she going crazy? Whispers, do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no, need the gifts I can give. And it would take a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright fountain of crimson to the light. Oh my gosh, this person's crazy. He was thinking about wrapping someone's neck with a red scarf now. Phone friend for school. I told him my dreams. Oh. No, that's foolish that. I told him it's an old book I found. Ask him how he described the character. Oh no, this guy's going crazy. Also, I think the stream missed it, but um, I asked Parvati when I was back on the ship. Uh, the message and it was so cute um, so um, when you watch you should probably watch this back on YouTube to see the stuff oh not going there because she reads out um, she reads out Junlei's reply to her asking her out and it was like are you really sure? I mean, I like to, but you know, it's I'm me. It's like a very awkward, very, uh, very, like, how do I describe it? They can't keep us out. It's like, uh, how, I don't know how to describe it. Just, was, uh, just that Junlei's message was like. Yeah, it's not. It's like disclaimers, but like, 
Because I was like, you know, we could work it out, but you know, uh, I, it's just very awkward the way she said. It's basically saying yes, but she said it in the most long winded way possible. And it was so funny. Because, um, of course, obviously, Parvati found it cute the way she did that. Which is, of course, cute, but you know, it's just so funny. That that's how they reacted. Oh, he's still alive. You're a good boy, Max. I no, not Max. Sam. Max is the <laughs> vicar. Uh, okay, so this is weird. Maybe I shouldn't be killing people. I mean robots. Because why would the game give me secret um, access here in the vents? Okay, more of Ray's journal. The whispers have a source and I have found it, found it. I have taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It is smaller than the worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies for to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. Wow, unwashed! If only there were fewer freighters docking there and bringing real people from Byzantium. I could almost have a home-free temptation. temptation. Uh huh. So this person is probably. Um. What do you call that when you hear? Schizophrenic? Is it schizophrenic? I'm not this foul thing that I feared for long. It was the voices. Oh, this sounds so sad, and I feel like I'm gonna find him at. Or her, or whoever that is, at the end of this um, station, going mad at the end. Oh, you should watch other like uh, Obsidian Games' is writing. I think one of their best is Pillars of Eternity. You, sh you can play that actually. It's a uh, it's like a simple RPG one. Oh, another janitor like my Sam. Where's Sam? Sam, there's a janitor. Just like you. Nothing? Can I not talk to it? Do I have to activate it somewhere? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Obsidian. They have, they have this like mission there. Like, oh, where, where do I go? They have like a mission. Every Sam Oops. unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Good work, Sam. Um, there's like a mission there where you're like you're like uh, finding someone. I don't want to spoil much, but just that you have to find someone's like um like uh. Like, he wanted to find out why someone died for them in the war. So we had to go to where the war happened. And when we got there, there's no, there's no like, solid answer. And then that's how it just ends. It's like him realizing that he won't find an answer as to why that person died for them in the war. And that's just the whole mission. It's just so... The writing is so great. In Obsidian games. That's why I, I hope as well that um, every companion here has a story just like uh, Parvati's. I, I kind of hope that's how Vicar Max's story ends. Like he finds the translation for the book for the. What do you call that? Preparing. Philosophist's yes. book. And then at the end he realizes that it doesn't answer any of his questions and he's like. Or thinking. This since this is a comedy focused game, it should be hilarious that he finds out nothing. 
I guess this is Frey. Yeah, I kind of knew it was him. Her. Her. Sorry. Oh, him? Her? I don't know. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop. Not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me. Demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson. Beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. And, and forgive me, Delilah. Oh, this is... Sad. I'm sorry you had to die this way, dude. I gotta take your gun, though, so... Um... That's, that's it for him. Am I back to the start? I think I'm back to the start. Yeah, I'm back to the start. Uh, this is the other way. Yep. Uh... There. Okay. Yay! This is a short trip. Um, but I want to open the other doors. I guess I have. I just have to come back and open the other doors. Fifty. I'm like seven point. Seven points away from doing 50. So that whole thing is just a, like a really short mission. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Car who's Car who's Caroline? Hold a check. Let's bring Parvati and probably Felix. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see if we can talk to Junli while we're here. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regular Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose related incident. Uh. uh huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. I sense some history here. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back. But it was only just that one time. Honest. Mm -hmm. I'd tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. Um, uh, what if I talk to her again? The Does she talk to Parvati? Fierce, no. But I can make time for you. No. You're together. Anyway. Edna. This is Edna. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Yeah. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Oh. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the mm. board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. I wonder what Thanks that again means. for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Huh? I should 
increase my lock pick to 50. Ooh, what perk should I get? Uh, I don't need that. Oh. I don't know what to get. Maybe this one. No. Uh, maybe this one. Just additional TTD. I guess I can go back and open the doors now. Now that I increased. Ooh, what's my reputation? Revering! They love me. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten this faster sprint. Should I go to Scylla next? Maybe. Maybe I should go to Scylla before I go to Monarch. I should bring Vicar because Vicar increases hack. There. Ooh, four lockpicks. What's inside here? Nicely done. That needs four lockpicks. Oh, should have done this first. Ah, oh, damn it. Too late. That's it. Should I reset my... Nah. Um. Okay, let me say before entering the other door. Because there's probably nothing in here. You gotta show me how you did that. I, uh, I got a lot of stuff. <gasps> What's in here? I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is a little weird because, like, this doesn't help much. Oh well. Uh, worth it, maybe. Uh, now we gotta go to Scylla. Is it Scylla? S-C-Y-L-L-A. What do I get on Scylla? Uh, the science weapon. Captain Irion. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing they'll probably have, hopefully, a vending machine there so that I can destination reached. Scylla. Unlock stuff.
41 helmet. Mr. Ouch. Uh, do the old mods give? I should remove some of them, honestly. Should sell some of them when they get later. Oh, there's a quiet muzzler, but I. I don't think I have something to change the muzzle yet. Let me tinker on their helmets. They're all 41. Never mind then. I should take Vicar. I'll take the Vicar. No, but I take him in the. I'll take Parvati instead. So this is an asteroid. Ooh, is that where I'm going? Oh, ne never mind. What's this? This place is cool. This is real space, isn't it? Empty, silent. Never thought I'd see the like. I I'd look up at night, but. I've never seen this asteroid in the pages of thrilling space adventures. I'm glad I brought you two. <laughs> This is kind of scary. <laughs> oh, let me see the map. Mm. So I have one thing there. And another thing there. I should start there first before going to the other way. Hopefully there are not a lot of enemies here. I kinda don't want to fight people yet. No, outlaws. Skip them. Oh, but there's more here. And they have robots. Let's see.
Goddamn. So I'm guessing Outlaws took this place. Oh, I better eat some food to increase my stuff. Yes. And where's the meat? I need some meat. Somebody lives all the way out here? Currently. Surrounded by Aether? Maybe it's haunted. We should look around. Don't say it's haunted, because it probably is. It's not the best choice. Uh, selling some mods. Sell. I need that sell. Uh, I like that one. Sell. Changes. Uh, sell. Increases attack speed. Sell. Critical damage, I kind of like that. Uh, still have my mods to sell. Uh, spell out the junk. And I need to put these clothes back to. Uh, where's the liquor? Sell all the liquor. Uh, harms them, sell them all. Uh, sell this, yes, sell. Uh, sell this, yes. I uh, don't need them yet. Um, What's that? Oh, sell all of them. Yes. Uh, sure, let's sell all of them. I don't need them yet. Okay. What's up, boss? Oh gosh. That's what you get. That's it. Oh my gosh, that's just me exploring one building. That happened. Uh, sell all the junk. Sell this. Ooh, yep, sell that. Ah. Oh. Kinda nice. Oh, I ah, uh, still stupid. I didn't sell them. I bought them. Impact hammer. Yeah, let's sell that. Twenty-one. Sell that. So I'm guessing I'm selling these two. Uh, sell those. Oh, I don't need those. Sell those. Sell those. Much of that. It's not the best choice. What's in here? Nothing? 
Just more ammo. Give me that science weapon. Where are y'all hiding it? We should be celebrating 42nd's birthday today. I tried to get you drunk. Blah blah blah. I have wear your shoes been 13 years. Oh. This guy's sister. Was on the hope with me. Because I was from the hope too. Oh, and they're sad. Because it's been 13 years since the hope disappeared. Oh, that's so sad. Ask for Linda. If only he knew that I could say that they would be saved like 70 years later. Uh, very strange tip. No corporate family. That's so interesting. Captain told her some sort of rearranger then left before we discovered. Interesting. Hmm. They're looking for the hope. Oh, so they were trying to terraform Scylla, and it didn't work. Huh. Now what do I do? I'm supposed to look for clues, right? For the weapon. I already looked everywhere. Or did I find a find weapon already? I don't think so. Oh, why is that not bread? Oh, never mind. Oh, I did have the weapon. Never mind. Mandibular rearranger. So, let's try it out then. When we get the chance. Ooh. It looks like it's gonna hurt when I use it. Um, what else is here? It's sealed. What's in here, guys? Can I get inside somehow? Do I jump here? No. Doesn't seem to work that way. Maybe here? Nope. Nope, doesn't seem like it goes there. Huh. Oh, another vending machine. It's T and L. Huh. Guess that's done. I'm gonna find for Captain. Irion? Irion. He's past this area. Maybe we should go underneath the terraformer thingy. Bye, Pat. See you tomorrow. That explains how we ain't dead. What about the 
pylons, all the O2 this thing's cracking from the ice will just drift off. Mm, I wonder what it'd take to knock this over. Why are you thinking of that, Felix? What if we die? So it's like uh, making the asteroid stable, I guess. Not fight that guy. Hey. Oh, so this is like making us breathe. Oh, I get it. It's like encapsulating the whole thing. There's a wall. Let me reach the wall. Let's see what happens. That's so cool. So, if I go out, it will be too cold. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I just tried to kill myself, but I get it. Where's the dude that I'm looking for? <laughs> Food addiction. Sure. At least that will force me to eat food. Is there like an increased duration of food? Oh. Like this one. Movement penalty. Basically, I just have to eat. Keep eating food. That's what it's saying. Or else I'll get withdrawal. I'm fine with that. Uh, who am I looking for? There's a doctor. Are you the doctor? No, this is, these are all mean people. Hey, outlaw. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Oh. Shut up now and you might get out of this alive. Can we hurry this up? I want that ship gutted before the primals find us. You ready, guys? We've got to fight them. I didn't know they had a mongrel. Guess I missed it. Oh, good thing this mechanical is with you. Thought it was gonna attack. Well then, I just saved your life. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was, readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Captain Erion, I take it. The one and only. Wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? Um, she did. 
I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. What? Not my fault. Um, I want to be snarky. You ought to be taking, thanking me. You're lucky to be alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. So we're just leaving now. You saved me the cost of ammunition. Thanks, pal. So I guess that's it for Scylla. Okay, so I need to report back. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm going to Monarch in this um, stream then. Oh my gosh, these beasts are scary. Don't want to run into them. I don't want to run into these guys too. Guess I have to take a long way around. But this is so cool that you can just you can just go out of the zone like what I just did. I should have sold some stuff. Uh, I need to put their clothes in a... Can I put them in a locker? Yeah, I should put them in a locker. So that I don't lose them. Ellie's, Felix, Parvati, and Vicar Max. Yes. Um... Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? We have cows! Why do I have cows? Hello? Hello? Why do we have cows? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Did you bring the cows? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. What did I say? I forgot. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junle to go steady straight out. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Oh, okay. Uh, bringing her home to a family, hey? Bold move. Oh gosh, do you think so? Oh no. I just figured, you know. I thought there's be nowhere funny. she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Anyway, I can help. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. We should shower every day. Smell like day. sweat most days, and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, only if you're not busy. We're going there anyway. Oh, you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Uh, well, we are going there. But who brought in the cows? Who brought all these cows? Because 
that's cool. I like cows. Um, where's Sam? <laughs> yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Uh, nothing. Ellie? No? No. Uh, everyone's here. All crew members, please be advised that perishables should not be left on the ca- Oops. Runner for more than 48 hours, unless you are hoping for an infestation of sprats. Maybe I could talk to Sam. Scanning for C two five four seven grade rated contaminants. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Warning! Wrapped on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. Uh, Ellie? Something on your mind? I'm a... not much else... No complaint. Huh, interesting. Good to see you, boss. Uh, so that's it. Uh, do I have to get anything back on my? Oh, I am. I need food. Okay. Fish sticks. This guy. Guess that's it. Uh, no. Anything else? Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Barvity and let's try Ellie this time. Why is it just you? Oh, I left Parvati. I need her because she's gonna. I was gonna help her buy some bath stuff, cleaning stuff. Because apparently we don't have on the ship. How have I been cleaning myself? That's the real question. Interesting. Because of my. Where do I see my flaws? Oh, there. <laughs> cool. Basically, this just means I can't stop eating, which is. I don't know. I find cool. Does this count as food? I don't think so.
Rizzo's knocking out Bob. There. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. Yes. I can't thank you enough. I did it. Where's the money? You should give me money. XP is great and all, but I want money. No? No, no money. Okay. Uh, there, there's money. Yay. Uh, shop for cleaning products. Wait, so I don't have. Yeah, basically this means I don't have much on the weapons yet. Okay. Oh, where will I be buying these cleaning products? From this guy? No. What does it say? Is it from Gladys? This is Halcyon Doom. Right? This is Gladys. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. My engineer is looking to do some deep cleansing. Wants to impress Chief Junlei. Why the Why am I have to tell her that? I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back. Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit. Home makeover. And I snagged a couple for myself. Oh. High grade shampoo and conditioner. Scrubby brush. A nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Oh, soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. Hey. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Hey, Jigo. Glad you're here. Join me as I get this girl on a date with her crush. But they're together now, so I don't know. Uh, hmm. What's a good s soap smell? I should ask Parvati. It's her choice. Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. Mm -hmm. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. <laughs> now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. Uh huh. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. Uh, I guess you could no. eeny miny mo it. I guess the mock apples. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. Mock apples, because you just said that um, uh, it's about being yourself. Uh, Captain? I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Anytime. So sweetheart. cute. You know where to find me. I'm helping. I'm helping people get together. No, it's not food perfume. It's like that's the scent of the like bath stuff, like the shampoo, the groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy cuz of you. So there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm going to put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole, saltuna and xeno gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Now, there's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. Oh. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Oh. All 
All right, that you're gonna you're just gonna ask her out, right? To go steady. Ah, that, that's what you want. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. You maybe you should just not take it too much, you know. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra think about strength. it too much. I'm feeling a might ripe. <laughs> uh, this girl, uh, Parvati, she she has um, she's going out with Junlei, the engineer of the ship, and she she wants to ask her out to go steady, but she wants she she need she bought soap because she feels like she smells ripe. And then now she's wa she wants to buy some food. What do you think of the new guy, Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Oh. Uh, I thought you didn't like strangers, generally. Yeah, but I got a good feeling about him, is all. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. Uh-huh. Uh... You might surprise yourself. Oh, I, can't, I really want to know how the companion stories move on. It feels like it's gonna be like really engaging. I guess it's time to go to Stellar Bay. Wait, do I have to sell stuff? No, I can sell stuff there. You just missed Pat Jigu. She was just here. She's very invested in Parvati and Junlei's relationship. Uh, Monarch, right? I don't get it. Oh, I she I need to inform Dr. Wells. Oh. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yes. Put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Mm. Sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. I've got some more questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Okay. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Pressure, but sure. Is there... No, Jigo, I don't know. Why would you want to see that? It's their relationship, not mine. Uh, kind of want to pass by Phineas's lab before going there. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. There, I did it. Oh, this used to be an Auntie Cleo site before he turned it into a lab. Cool. Does he just stand there when he knows I'm here? I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating yourself with the board. Chairman Rockwell and his cronies are not your friends. 
They might tempt you with promises of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind? Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Don't you ever leave your job? Yeah, because you're just standing there. Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. What? That's not what I meant. Life outside work? No, of course not. My life is my work. For that matter, everyone else's lives are also my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. Putting to that much pressure your question, I'd on yourself. Stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The hopes colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Uh. How's that coming along, anyway? Remarkably well. After all, I managed to revive you without too many adverse side effects. We're even having a real conversation. That's progress. I'm just waiting for news from Hiram Blythe. I'm quite sure he knows the location of those chemicals. Get me those chemicals, and I'll revive the hope. Revive the hope, put a stop to the board. Stop the board, save the colony from destruction. Cause and effect. Simple, really. My progress is tied to your progress. We're in this together, my friend. I could give your research a peer review if you want. I'm well aware of your scientific acumen, but you're far better suited to working in the field than I am. Leave the blackboard work to me. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. Then why am I alive? But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? I guess so. Uh, glad to hear that. Everyone's depending we'll on do us. Our very best to save them all. I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Yes, that's it, guys. He's weird, basically. Let's go to Monarch. Let's see how beautiful this new planet is. And why I had to spend 10,000 bits just to get there. So I'm guess I'm bringing Ellie and... No, I need to bring Parvati. So I'm... Parvati and Vicar max them. What's in Cascadia again? I forgot. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay. Ooh. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Cool. Why is it gonna get in Cascadia? Stellar Bay. Oh, Cascadia has the cakes. Gotta eat food. If I don't eat food, I get withdrawal. Nope. Why did I just do nicotine? No. Should be food. Nope. That's a drink. Should be food. There. Uh. Wait, I kind of want to go to Cascadia first just to get the the duck thing. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. What did it say? Dangerous. I'm just going to bring Parvati and Ellie. Why does it say warning? I'm scared. Should I not be going out here?
I just need to buy uh, cakes. I don't think I like this place for a little bit. Hope you brought enough guns, boss. What? Oh, because there's a lot of whatevers. Uh, so I just have to go to the other side. What's... What? Oh, this is Stellar Bay. I get it. This is Cascadia. I just need to get to the other side and I'll be back. Ow, oh, that hurt. Can I defeat you guys? Where's that guy going? That's the last of them. Oh, you did it. Oh. Corrosive weakness. Um Sure. <laughs> I'm so flawed at this point. Ooh, consumable weight. This is great. What's in here? Drino, music box. Ooh, there's someone dead. Take all your stuff. I just gotta reach the other side, you know? And I even can't get through the other side. And why is that? Why can't I go there? Why? Tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why. Guess I wasn't supposed to be here. Ah. Uh, have to go the long way. Big, wild, untamed, danger lurking around every corner. I'm glad Felix is excited about this. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. So gotta bring Parvati and Vicar Max. Whoa. Not as stellar as it looks like it should be. This looks um, depressing. Oh, I'm so high up. Um, where's the... There. Hello? Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. Nope. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. Yep. You are new here, right? Yes. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Oh, you're cut off Which by the board. I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. 
on behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. My name is Luke. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. Oh. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You're not what I expected to find in Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. What? But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Mostly? Are you saying that the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Sure! Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Maybe. That depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Oh, sure. Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb, only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kidding. I was gonna say. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. That's your last name. Got to meet them. Your Holcomb as well. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? Um, actually, I've been in hibernation for decades. Oh, <laughs> you're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. This poster's poster sounds pretty ba valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. Could steal it. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Thank you. Now, to sell some junk. Um, I can st sell this. Uh, sell this. Sell this. Uh, sell this. And, uh, oh. Sell this. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Bro, I need to sell the these ones. I don't need alcohol or yeah. Doesn't help me at all. Nasal stimulant. It's Rizzo's. All of the jingles will get stuck in my head. What's anti Cleo's again? Better than nature. Okay. And then Spacer's Choice. Jigo, did you hear that? Because each corporation has their own jingle after you use a vending machine. And it's so cute, every jingle. Like, if you heard this one. Again. I like that one. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Um. Mm -hmm. So I'm going there. And I'm going 
there as well. I'm going there. Yeah, they they made um, jingles for each corporation in the game. There. Oh, basically, I'm going everywhere. Uh, let's try this one. What's the results again? <laughs> Cute. Uh, nope, I'm not stealing. Uh, so I guess. The Yacht Club. Okay, that's where I'm going later. I'm going later. Uh, need to look for... Is this... Could Is I Celia? Get another there. Advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hello, Celia. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries. Producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. I wonder what salt tuna tastes what like. What can I do for you today? Salty tuna. Um, Grim asked me to check to you with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Interesting. I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. <laughs> I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. Okay, I'll help him. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Earlier, I overheard you say you had money trouble. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Harvity? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Interesting. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on acid. Do you normally blow your money on Raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Interesting. Why are you buying so much? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this villa. Oh. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Oh. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. There's a smell. Maybe I can talk to him for you. I could just f tell her to go... Yeah, just go ask him for a date. I shouldn't... I couldn't! What if he says no? Hey! Maybe you could ask him oh, for me. There it is. I, I mean, a no would still be bad. But it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. I don't know... Oh. Mr. Meddling with people so famous. Through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Oh, wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. I get it. Legs. <laughs> Uh, that's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Okay. Guess I'm a big, um, person. I'm so basically, I'm here to help people with their problems in love life. What? This is... F can't um, go above 50? Oh. Interesting. Huh. So once it reaches 50, I can... Two. Okay, never mind. Oh, perks. Mm. Hmm. I guess this one. And Vicar Max. 
science weapon damage. Basically, that means. Uh, I guess just. More damage is better. In general. Why is everything negative? What did I do? Oh, it's the food addiction. I uh, guess I gotta eat. There. Uh, and why is this one? It's the armor. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get going, guys. What's in here? Oh, hello. Ooh, it's two entrances. Ooh, what's this? Monarch Stellar. Oh, it's kind of low. 36. I got a 41 already. Uh, don't want to buy anything from here. Guess that's it. Oh, I thought it was gonna sing. Guess that's it. What's in here? Can I check in here? Ooh. You can just go in your offices. And use your terminal. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Basically... Hmm. Oh. Basically, they're making their own stuff. Monarch Stellar Industries. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna go here. Can I? Click on stuff. Um, what is I gonna do? So that's left. So I gotta go right. Oh, what's here? Hello. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. I'm what not. Can I get you? You have stuff. If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. Uh, your stuff is horrible. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't like your weapons. Repair my weapons. Uh, 8,000 bits. Oh, sorry. 465. Bye-bye. Uh, gotta buy some food. Gotta buy some food. Is this the food? No! Someone's been killed! Oh. Where? I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you alright? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. <laughs> if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. I mean... Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. <laughs> That's funny. He just goes screaming and then he just leaves the body there. Ooh, CNP. This one's cool, I think. The jingle. Hmm. Where's the body? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. I'm poverty. Gruesome way to die. Oh yeah, it's quite gruesome. Uh, check for clues. Uh, I'm just stealing his food. <laughs> um, oh, there. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers for made a team for mostly colonists from left field. Oh, he was probably killed because he had a bet. Um, more, more. There, several ragged outfits, all cut, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into this suitcase. Hmm. That's it. That's all I find. Ooh, he died so gruesomely. That's it. Uh, 
Oh, gotta go to the betting arena. And that is where? There. Okay. So I'm here right now. I go here and then I go there. Okay. Noted. Uh, I should look around this place since I'm here already. Hello. Are you dead? Or are you just lying there? Can I use your terminal? Foul leaking from the apartment upstairs. Ooh. Please try to keep your window shut. Ooh. Now I want to go upstairs. Because there's a foul smell. Oh, it's from Celia, I think. Whatever you do, don't mention Crossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. He's dead. If you got him stuck in an hour long rant about most of calling us, you'd be thankful. He's dead downstairs. I don't know how to tell them. Hello? Laura? Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? <laughs> it means to scare you. Oh, that's all I said. Um, thanks. Can I look in your... Oh. Wait! Are you supposed to be here? You again! You've really got to stop doing that! What are you looking at, Laura? You're snooping around. Just like me. What did it say again? Mathers in the old ruins south of Stellar Bay. Be back soon. Laura, I know you're reading this day out of my things. So you got a friend there, and now you're looking through you, their things. Hello, hello. Well. Hello. As you were. Hello. Um, Isaac's dead. Isaac's dead downstairs. I guess this is Celia's apartment? No. No, it's a... Ooh. Game. I don't want to steal more stuff, though. No one saw that. Um, wait, I don't get it. So this is Celia's apartment? The small one? Not sure anymore. Anyway, I gotta buy those cakes. Or those casserole. Casserole. Um, I guess if they don't have a jingle, they just play that. Um, casserole? Casserole? Do you have casserole? Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Hello. I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls. The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Uh, what did you, why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Seems like you'd want more centimeters. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum, but that spaceship has flown. Ever thought about leaving Stellar Bay? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Um, you forgot stab. That's also a possibility. Well, thank you for reminding me. As if I weren't already destined for an early grave. My engineer's looking for a dust-back casserole. 
That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. I can cover the 3,000 bits. You got it. I got all the ingredients. Should only take about an hour in the oven. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. She has a date. Oh, gosh, my tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. What does it look like? What does it look like? I want to see what it looks like. Ooh, it's casserole. I mean, I don't know what I expected. Looks like a casserole. Um, I guess that's it. What's upstairs? Bathroom. I didn't steal anything. Ooh, it's a. Uh... Well done. No one saw that. No one saw that. Close the door. Nothing. You didn't see anything. No, I didn't steal anything. Going down. And I'm going here. And here. To the soft toss ball thing. I, I said soft ball. Right? Oh, the other. This one. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Bye bye. Hello? Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember... Ah, shucks. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Mm, who's Velma? She works over at the fishery next door. Quite the hard worker, but she's got a bit of a temper. Temper? Why, just the other day, I heard her shouting from here. I can't imagine what set her off. Oh, but here I go again, running my mouth when it's none of my business. Oh, you're a... Was there something else? You you're that needed. gossiping aunt. Are you in charge of handing out the medicine here? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and energized. Certainly seem excited about your job. Oh, but I am. I get to see plenty of my neighbors here. And I do dearly love a little gossip. You are that gossiping ant. Um, what's in here? Bathroom. What's upstairs? Oh. Didn't steal anything. So he's test. She's testing on drugs. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh. Is this like a... Oh. It's like a... She's writing a romance novel. Yes, that's it. Um, I'm on the other side. And I got a... There! Left field toss ball bedding. Hello! Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. Actually, I'm not. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Um, I'm not here to chat about teams. That's a shame. Tossball's just about the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too clogged up, anyway. So, what can I do for you? Um, uh, I found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. He's dead. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow. Even if he did have terrible teeth. Uh, wow. What did his teeth that have to do with anything? They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits, dietary and otherwise. Oh. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team, started owing the wrong people money. I get it. So who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. Mm. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mm, probably. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. So sad. I was thinking as well that he probably died because of the of something about betting. Uh, excuse me. Where's Sebastian? No, oh, he's there. Okay. Um. This is outside. Oh no, it's there. Um, what's this again? Oh, you need to talk to Stella. Okay. Uh, in the warehouse. Constable? Oh, it's closed. Uh, what's in here? It's behind here. What's up here? It's high, and I have acrophobia. I need food. But I don't get it. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there. Oh no, not there. What's up here then? Interesting. Maybe it's just the view. Oh, never mind. Here. I'm inside. Whatever this place. Where am I? <gasps> it's a ring! Steel. Interesting. Uh, did I just find something that I should be? Okay, keep them quiet. Oh, interesting. So I, I was right. There was something there. Ha! <laughs> oh, I fell. How do I get out there? Nope. Nope. There.
Okay. Then I'm going to the warehouse. This is the warehouse, right? Velma seen out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean more than usual. Wouldn't know. I made it a point to stay out of her way. Hmm. Where are you? Hey, Velma, I got your caffeinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. Bye bye. And talk. Velma's not so bad. As long as you avoid her when she's stressed. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Take it easy, I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Oh, uh, don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Sure. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Oops. Something else on your mind? Um, uh, I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. <gasps> that about cover it? Wait, 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 wait. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. But, but, she but. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. So it's about money. Damn right it is. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. So you're just giving Grimm's poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Uh... I'll try persuading them. Work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Okay. Fine by me. Um... What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. Hmm. Uh, you said Braxton had been stealing drugs. Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. 
Uh, why didn't you turn him in? We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Mm. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Interesting. Talk to you later then. Kinda wanna steal the poster, but I don't wanna be mean to the group since they're so nice. Just because she's um, mean doesn't mean others have to be affected. Um. Caleb. Okay. Uh, that's Braxton. Elijah and his gang. Huh, uh, I'll try talking to the betting lady to see what she feels about giving the poster to what's his face? Grim. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Velma tells me you outbid Grim for a signed tossball poster. Signed by the black hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. B -b 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 could I trade you for it? I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine tossball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. Of course. The only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official tossball jerseys. I was gonna line the walls with them. They're the new ones now with authentic game time aroma. Aroma? Authentic? As in the players actually sweat in them? Of course not. No, authentic means close enough to be the real thing, but not actually the real thing. Everyone knows that. Anyway. I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, I might let Grimm have that poster. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. You see, you said you were having trouble receiving the tossball game transmissions. Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda, like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. I guess I'm gonna do another thing. I have lots to do. Uh, what's Amber Height? There, mm. guess I'm gonna. This is so cool, though. Like, I'm just about, I'm just getting a poster, and now I'm like helping someone out with their problem, helping another person out with another problem, just because I wanted to help someone get their poster. She bought from that guy who sells animal parts. Sebastian. I swear, she buys something from him every day. Where is Celia's apartment? Is there an upstairs to this? Um, I need to find Braxton. Where is Braxton? Are you any of you Braxton? No. Uh, is Braxton here? No, this is the dead guy's apartment. Is Braxton here? We don't get many outsiders. Where's Braxton? What? There's an upstairs? 
Am I missing something? For stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Where'd you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few oh, days ago. He's probably I dead. warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Oh, Law Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? I'm gonna Please, help, of course. Won't you go and find my boy. Of course. I'll help find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? What's up it's with down Amber the road Heights? Southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Um, I guess that's you. I'm still looking for a way to get... Oh, what's this place? Oh, that's the boss thing. Okay. Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian's here. Rap must oh, you're Sebastian. Right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Mostly fresh. <laughs> Let, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? Oh. That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Poverty, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the last display. He left the Vale, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. He's probably Can dead. Can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Of course. And we'll... I'll keep an eye out. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate. The one right here. And head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that -a -ways. Could be Mr. Pickett's still out there, too. Uh, Let's talk about... Oh, let, let me see your food oh, first. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Oh my gosh. This is what you're selling? You look like a man who's looking for... Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that raptid on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. I mean... Boy... 
The fact that she's your only buyer, doesn't that say anything? Uh, what do I say? Would you consider going on a date? Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Uh, oh, no, that's not it at all. Yeah. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smoot? Smoot? Smith. Don't get me wrong. Then. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. Uh, but if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Uh, this one. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? Yeah, we can I hope. I want them to be happy. I hope it. Still don't understand where that is. Where is Braxton? Are you Braxton? You're not Braxton. I'm so confused. It says the secret people. Is this is there like a secret area that I'm not that I don't see? Feels like these walls shrink a little every day. You again! You. I'm looking for a Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton, I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. No, relax. No one's in trouble. I'm just looking for a friendly chat with him. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins oh. south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there. That's all I needed. Poor fella. Hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Everyone's dead. Um. What space time continue? Search the house. I did it. I just did it. Oh. Here it is. Is there anything more? I think that's it. Step lively, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. Oh, these are the guys who killed Isaac, probably. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Secret. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Ew. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Fine. Let's just do it. Let's just forget this ever happened. 
Huh? I don't want to say that. I don't think so. You're a loose end now. Incoming. Oh, so he's still gonna kill me. Uh. Wow, she disintegrated. Oh. That was fun. Now what? It's not like I solved this. I did solve his murder, but you know, like what do I get out of it? Tell Sandra. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's depressing. Business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Moisten the loins? I've posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Okay, very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But, if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Nope. Uh... Afraid not. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite alright? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and... Athletic disappointments. Now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Mm. Yeah, if you're free from the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Mm. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Are you tired of scrounging and scraping by? Is that it? Yes. Freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramount. Interesting. This is an interesting exactly. political thing. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I guess that makes Mr. sense. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people yeah, here, Mr. Saunders? I was going to say. Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. 
And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Mm. How do you mean to? How do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Then I guess I'll go get your Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? Uh, I met Grim, the landing pipe guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Yes, he did a bang-up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Uh, Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. I killed them too. That's terrible. What happened? I'm taking care of it. The killers are dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Um, maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Wow, that's such short money. Gotta go. Sounds like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltina smell. Trust me. Whoa. There's a dead guy. Oh, this is Lily's agent. He's dead. Oh, I get it, I get it. Why, why is it candy now? Did I... I have lots of quests. Oh, I should go back to Celia.
Where was it again? I keep forgetting. This place is small, but it's quite confusing. Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? No one? Really? You have a you date. Yes. What did he say? You have a date. He said to go on the date with you. Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. <sighs> Look. You've got your chance. Have fun and don't overthink it. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look? Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Aw. Matchmaker, I'm one big one. So I guess that's completed. But I kind of want to know what <laughs> uh, what happens to them. Okay, so that's outside. That's outside. That's outside. I guess it's just Herrick's handiwork and then I'm going outside. Bennett. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? You've got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. What are you talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and mm. got us all booted. You missed the good old days. Days of consumption and culture. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of so better I guess... things to do. Huh. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? I'll leave you be. So I guess this area is like outside of the board, but they're really sad that they were out of the board. Unlike Halcyon. I mean, all the times Groundbreaker. And places we could have been born. Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting It's a Wonderful Directorate. This is Nyoka. I need to look for Herrick. 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 New face, huh? You from off world? Yes. Captain Luke of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> Shh. Uh, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh... La, 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 la. Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Any suggestions how to put pressure on Velma to negotiate? I don't like that one. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I need to convince him, right? Okay, I get it. If his stash goes missing, he'll have to come back. Hey, Mr. 
Mr. Vicar, did you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes. I'm going to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> of course you do. He said diner. Oh, the diner is uh, this one. So he lives upstairs. Right? Oh no, the other. This one? Oh, there! So I have to jump? Oh, there. Is anyone looking at me? Don't look at me. Save. Understood. I'll keep my head down. Hey, You're trying to I get us all that. in trouble. Don't look at me. Incoming. What happened? Never mind. I'll reload then. <laughs> Better than nature. Anticleos. Oh, they're the ones who can see me. I need to. How can I hide more? Here. So sorry. Ahem. Ahem. Ow, my feet, my foot. No one saw me trip over that, right? I just fell, so. Oh, this one. I keep forgetting. Is the yacht club? Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? What are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Mm. What could be so bad it made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And oh. the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Oh. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Kind of feel bad now for taking his money. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. Was this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. I need to put back his money. Someone help me. I feel bad now. Oh, it's not here. It's the other way.
Oh no, I can't put it back. Ooh. I gotta reload. Because I don't want to steal his money anymore. Keep him quiet, Cap. Ow. My dad taught me some French, you know? Stuff about omelets and, uh, fromage. I could take a look at that journal. By all means. I would be astounded, yet astronomically in your debt. Oh, yeah, there's nothing at all about eggs and cheese in here. Sorry. Very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Parvati. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Okay, basically, Velma is evil. Uh, should I talk to Nyoka? Let's talk to Nyoka. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Keep listening. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach, and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I'm Luke. Pleasure to Luke. Are you always this drunk? Do you think this is drunk? I got a a You need to get out more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Uh I'll sit and chat, but you look like you've had enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's. Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. What do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Uh You mean caffeinoid? That stuff just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Actually, I've got some right here. Perfect. Give it here. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Uh, let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Mm. We'll be going south and west. Mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss <gasps> options when we get closer. Is she the last companion that, said, that I need? Uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Uh, uh... Parvati, wait on the ship. We need Nyoko's help for now. 
Long as you've got my back, I'll have yours. Welcome to the unreliable crew. Stella Bay had a vicar once. He took it upon himself to convince Graham's folk to come back to the corporate fold. Kept making the trip between the city and Amber Heights by foot. Kept getting himself into all sorts of scrapes. Day came when I found a book of his in the middle of a raft encampment. And still gripping it, too. The plan unfolds as the plan unfolds. To vicar and layman alike. I need to buy her some armor. Nope, that's not good armor. Hmm. Oh, the armor's bad here. I need to get the good armor. The 150 is really good. Um, I need to get her... Oh wait, another perk. <gasps> I have these perks now. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one as well. Like this one. This one's good. Nyoka. Oh, she's a machine gun. Maybe you want a plasma rifle. And instead of that, cl oh, the cleaver's nice. Ooh, this hammer, though. Uh, perks. Ooh, I'm kind of okay with lying. Not lying. Healthy. Oh, this one's nice. She's a sneaky person. Oh, I like this one. Damage to creatures. Uh, what's her thing? Barrage. Nyoka uses her personally blah blah blah. Oh, to deal damage to her. It's a, oh, a blaze. Oh. Um, I gotta give her an armor, but I don't have any. Uh, I need to get some from the others. Probably from... Oh, I should have exchanged with Parvati first before setting her off. Wait, where is the thing for... Um, it's here. Okay, so I guess I can do that and then return back and get Parvati later. Let me see if I toggle inactive quests. Ooh, it's a lot. Ooh, there's like three things here. That's great. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take some armor from the others. Don't need this, I think. Probably Felix for now. 
And I'm gonna give this to... Where's Nyoka? This one. And gotta give her helmet. Probably this one. Uh, who doesn't have a good helmet? Oh, Parvati doesn't have a good helmet. Do you have a good helmet? You have. You don't have a good helmet either. Where's my good helmet? Well, anyway, gotta take Parvati's helmet first. Give it to Vicar Sam. Max. Why do we keep calling the Vicar Sam instead of Max? And then we gotta put um. her stuff here so that I don't lose it and I gotta go out again Yoka and Vicar Max yes oh they're all complete cute it's not the best choice So I gotta get stuff from Velma to prove that she's evil, and then... Then I can go out, I think. Yeah. What was I gonna do? I need to find proof in the warehouse. Got it. Got it. Got it. I hear those rich people in Byzantium. Hey, Only 46 when I have 50. It's the armor again. Um. So I take off the armor, I guess. Uh, save first. an artist, Captain. Oh. I don't want to steal the poster... yet. I think I can take these other things. saw that <gasps> Ooh. I found it I just steal? Uh, it's just an ugly. the vending machine I found. Sell. Guess I'm selling this. And 
this. And this. Uh, just think about that. Uh, I'm guessing selling this. This one's good for you. Take this then. I'm guessing I can sell these now. Or just... just break them down. I'll break this down as well. And the plasma thing. I don't need it anyway. Uh, gotta go back to Henrik. Show him what I found. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Uh. Nope. I... Nope. Wait, 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 wait. I found information. What do I do with it? Yeah. Do I just talk to Velma then? I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Why don't? Sure thing. Huh. Was this a bug or something? Is it true that Manta Queens devour their mates after copulation? Yeah. Well, sort of. They kill them. But they leave the body till their swarm hatches and eats it. The first meal is their father. Makes one appreciative he wasn't born a mentosaur. Slimy man like you might fit in just fine. Save. I'd give you a friendlier... We spat in your spirits, Belma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seen triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades-old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can't afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. That sounds remarkably like Caleb's argument. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? That's it. Glad you're a nice person. Somehow. Okay, this is just sad because she's swindling money because she feels like that's her money to get. And it 
technically is because she's the one working harder. So it's kind of like it's just sad. Why don't you grab a chair? You've got your pay raise. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Yay. Everyone's happy and didn't steal any money that I didn't have to... Uh... I guess... A vicar, huh? You a true believer? I guess I have to go outside now. Yeah. Um, what's the difference? Either side. Isn't both just the same? Hmm. Or do you just like the tides? Why well, that? It's borderline offensive, Ms. Ramnarim Wentworth. Of course, I believe the tides are merely a well-earned bonus. I met another believer once, pushy type. He thought he'd been left behind for a reason. Thought he'd find some kind of cosmic truth in the wilderness. Got himself infected by a mantis and drowned in a sulfur pool. Some truth. Can't get more brutally true than survival of the fittest. But don't mistake us all for blind fools. Intellect plays a large part in who stays among the living. Glad to hear it. These two are interesting pair. I need to talk to you, Captain. A, uh... Okay, I just gotta take a quick break. I just gotta pee. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yes. Uh, you're saying, Yoka? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Oh? Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. What kind of danger are we talking about, right? Nothing I can't... We can't handle. Alright, let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. I get it. What do we need to do? First... We go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then, we kill the bitch, and bury everyone's medallions together. Aww. Sounds fun. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Honestly, that sounds fun. Um, probably die. But this is a video game. We, we can be brash. As much as we want. Uh... Ooh. Ooh, that's how far it is. So far. Interesting. Everything is... I don't know where to go first, honestly. Maybe these two first.
Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. The trick is not to breathe through your nose. I'm melting, so... Well, what's that buff I'm getting? Confidence. Oh, it's the... After getting a kill, I get a critical... What's it on me? Hide. I'm only passing through here. I'm not planning on staying. Hmm. This planet's really interesting. Oh, boy. oh. a fight! Did I save? I forgot to save, probably. Ah! I saved here. So far away. I keep forgetting to press 1, 2, 3, 4 for the... Try me. Sometimes violence is the only way. Well, that meant better than the first time. Oh, where's the body? Oh, something's up here. Save. I would like to die first. Freezes them. But well, I'm not doing a lot. Uh, I kind of like this one more. That one was kind of iffy. Uh, leadership, tech, uh, weapons, 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 weapons. Is there anything that I can enter? I don't think so. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. <gasps> oh, don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, here they come! <laughs>
Can these open? Sealed. But it leads to somewhere. Cool. I wonder if I can open it. Ooh, ooh, there's a place here. Does anyone live here? No. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. Well, get ready, guys, because we got a big fight. A fight on our hands. Eight shines on us today. your confession now. That's the last of Well. That place can open. Arms building key. I don't need it. It's in here. Sanjar has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics, not very good with slogans, jingles, or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. Sanjar also displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating. All in all, Sanjar's work habits suggest a preoccupation, needs improvement, interpersonal... <laughs> okay. Executive review. Restricted by. Uh, Graham's... Understanding of product messaging and browsing is impressive. For prescribed fonts and formats. Oh, I get it. Sure, let's delete it all. Bits. Bits. 
Heavy construction gear. Bits, bits, bits. Bits, bits. Hey, why is this open? Did I open this already? Oh no, it's another place. Hello? Who's in there? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here and a Mata Queen showed up. Then Rathodon was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and... Um, now the door's locked. Little help? Uh, you got locked in how? Well, I need to get in that room. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Uh, seeming as your trap. Might as well answer. Who are you? Huxley. I'm an Iconoclast runner. The Iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Oh. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm... Uh, I'm... <laughs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Tell me about the Iconoclasts. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and... I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I wanna get back to Amber Heights. So... Oh, I'm looking for Bolt 52. Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. I get... Get me out of here! I'll get you back up. So she's stuck there. Uh... Oh, well, this is neat, so I'm following the trail of blood. Okay, more blood. Here. I'm guessing he's that guy who's dead. What? Is this you? Uh. Ooh, 38. I could give it to someone. 29 29 Dodge Health skills uh, Maybe the vicar He's kind of low, right? 2000 uh, Yeah uh, there. He looks even weirder But I guess that's What we get let me pair these things. This one I can break down. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. <laughs> now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind.
You're sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Hmm... Good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Will she be okay? Are you sure? That's not what we're looking for. This one! Get all the bits. Um, I guess that's uh this one done. Uh, um, the secret people. Okay. Uh, maybe I can break down some of these stuff. Uh, I don't need that. So we'll break that down. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, don't need that. Um, let's see if I can modify. Oh, mine is, this one is full. Uh, magazine, plasma, I don't like it. Ooh. This one's good, right? the bridge okay okay this place is kind of scary during the dark Ooh, waterfall where does it go Ooh, it's quite high up if I look oh I don't get acrophobia this way interesting uh, let me eat some food I think I have so much food. Oh, look at that. Save. And... Have your back, Yoka is cool, because she sets things on fire! Where's the body? Where'd the body go? Aw. Couldn't find it. Anyway... Interesting that it has a loading screen. Is this like a, an area where you're I'm not supposed to be in? Oh, hello. Save. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. She's, he's a cannibal. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. 
Um, looking for a man named Braxton. He's supposed to go. <gasps> Braxton's dead. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Did you Why eat don't you Braxton? Stay for <gasps> Suspicious. Are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? He was delivering medicine to you. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Something ain't right about that. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree. I agree. Hello? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. Oh. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. Where are you going? Hey, what are you doing in my room? Maybe I'll tell Mama and Papa. Then you'll be sorry. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They are eating people. I thought I'd seen the worst of humanity before. They sulfur sodden asshole. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Poor Braxton. <laughs> I mean, I knew it, this would come, but this is quite horrific to find him like that. Even the vicar agrees. What's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Relax, this doesn't have to end badly. Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? I'll just... I, do I kill them? I don't know if I should kill them. I don't want to... I kind of want to kill them because they're cannibals. Did you hear that, Martha? Threatening our family in our own home. It's very rude. Time to teach you some manners.
I didn't deserve to die so clean. Yes, these people deserved much, much worse. I wonder if there was a way to make them die. Okay. I'll just try this once. Let's see what happens. What happens if I just leave the house? That's it. Okay, now I want to try to see what if I lie. I, I know I shouldn't be like doing this because it ruins the game, but, but I just want to know. Now there's an intriguing prospect. Forgo the promise of a fine dinner now for others down the road. Martha, my dear, what do you say? It seems the Eternal shall provide through our new friend. And there we have it. Stop by any time, hmm? I hope there's a way to punish them. What do you guys think? What's up? No. They don't say anything. Yes. What? Huh. Uh, uh, kinda wanna still kill them, but... I guess I'll just come back later and kill them. At least, uh, they won't do anything now. I guess. Oh, I get it. So I go here, all around here, go here, and then end there. Okay, so my goal is this one. The Empty Man. I should change it to the Empty Man. And then I'm gonna have passed through these areas. What's this area, I wonder? Careful. <gasps> Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I believe this place has seen better days. There's a church, Vicar. Aren't you excited about a church? Claw. It's open.
Oh, people have been sleeping here. I understand. Oh, that's nice. Pick up the noise hat. Ooh, maglicks, magpicks. What did they say? Oh, poor guy. Drinking himself to death. Uh, interesting. Oh, there's more. Survive and the weak perish. Oops. Oh, yeah. Keep pressing the wrong button. Ooh, safe. I have lots of stuff now. I need to throw back. Hope we get to see a vending machine soon. Ooh. dead with a sprat friend that's sad Cascadia, right? Fallbrook, Amber Heights, and Stellar Bay. Well, I guess I can go back to Stellar Bay for a bit, just to sell some stuff and then go back out. Right. Here's the road. Follow it south. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years. Hey, Max, what does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I'm sure you've seen a corpse in the various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place, then? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. Everyone has a part to play for the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the Monarch evacuation, did you not? Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of Raptodons. Okay, Max is starting to sound a little better than just too nice or whatever. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Mioka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um, I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I deleted it. It was already open. Oh, yes. 
no doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. That's your great shame. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and Ooh. for years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? <laughs> Apparently not. Hmm. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. Yeah, in charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. That's more than anyone can say for those executives. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Uh, here's the bolt. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. Mm. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. Oh, hello, Sarim Dabot. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy watching. Uh, how exactly is a data cartridge going to help you? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. What? Temporary thing. I guess... Uh, so you do want to go against the board. No, no, not that one. Yes, this one. No. no. Spare me the details and just tell me what's next. Corporate espionage. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Uh. Your best delivery yet, sir. I get it. Kind of spoils the effect if you have to ask. Getting ahead of myself again. Mm -hmm. Happens to the best of us, sir. So this plan of yours? I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, ah. it would give rise to dissent. Ah. MSI could use this information to their advantage. I get it. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Ah. Uh. You really think so? Yeah, that's actually I nice. I admit, I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. You might actually get the I upper hand. someone capable to help me carry it out. Mm. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Mm. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Uh, I get it. Well, watch it with you people. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. <laughs> Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate a secret corporate brace and kidnap the staff. Sure. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. I mean, I get it. It's like, um, his point is... Between you and me, Preacher, I don't think we can trust Sam. On that point, we're in agreement. <laughs> I keep catching that bucket of bolts around my room. It says it's cleaning up bottles, but I ain't buying it. You think you could be a board spy? Velma Smith. Oh, fuck. You could be onto something. I'll tell you this much. If it tries to sell me another void forsaken cleaning instrument, I'm kicking it out of the airlock. This is so cute how they just converse with one another. Also, I get I get the point of 
what he's trying to do now. He's trying to get in the board, but at the same time, have a leverage on the board. I get it, I get it. So that uh, they still get money and food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Um, he was killed by cannibals. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Mm-hmm. It's a rotten way to go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? That poster? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Hey. I found Braxton, didn't I? Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. I'll talk to you later. Um... Can I still look for a lost shipment of tossable jerseys? I still kind of want to. Hey, Grim! Got your poster. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Cool. You're so nice. Oh, this is the tossable block. Ooh, it's nice. I should, I should not sell it. <gasps> Ooh, seventy-five, sixty-eight. Sell this, sell this. Um, ooh, got twenty-nine. Guess that's it. What if I buy some ammo? Friendly. At least they're friendly to me now. Ooh. Um. I don't mean to. Judge, but 
Are you ever sober, Ms. Remnerine Wentworth? Only when I got a job to do. And even that ain't a guarantee. Marauders, they gotta die. Oh, you are in for it. Oh, that's what he was fighting. The cannons. everyone to reach everything to reach 50 at least and then I can just stop from there okay carrying capacity I like that to be increased uh, this is the church that is the steeple open it up I hope I get to see a um, vending machine soon Exploded to pieces. Where's the other one? Where's the other guy we shot? It's a hooligan. Let's look. Oh, there. Uh, don't want to go through there. Just want to stay on the path. And then when I reach this area, I gotta go here and then gotta go there. Okay, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Let's run, 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 let's run. Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just swing. Go take the toe off. Huh? Got a fight on our hands. Oh god. Well, I am now. Let's eat some stuff. You're dead. I think I have some extra... I want... Do they use the ammo I have as well? With their weapons?
I wonder. Anyway. I think I have too much um, light ammo. I'm really curious what's in there. You put a giant circle in the middle I wanna enter oh it's just oh it's just another way yeah it's a shortcut I guess um, so there's this area here where there are people Vending machine. Iconoclast. special one So there's... what's this? Can I open this up? No. Sealed. Will it ever be opened up? Someone stayed here? I can add another consumable swap. Uh, I guess 100 natural health regeneration and wrap it on. Um, that's the best idea, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell these. Oh. Interesting. so I can extract mods when I break down stuff. Uh, repair, we should repair. So this is still closed. Like the other one I found earlier. Ooh, what's up here? Bayside Terrace Warehouse.
341 days to calibrate. Oh, 55. Do I have to take my clothes off again? So easy. What did I take off? This one? Or this one? Oh, this one. Oh. I need to tinker with this so that it would be stronger. Yeah, I like that one better. Actually, this one. Oh, it's just golden. Okay, never mind. What's this one? Ar Arm and ballistics. Oh, it's anti Cleo, so now I kind of want to change. <laughs> anti Cleo, not good. Um, hmm. Oh, wait. I forget, did I go in here already? Oh, I did. Um, need to sell some junk. Were they here the whole time? Um, uh, I'm going this way. And here, okay. Ooh. Should I even kill them? Yeah, I kind of want to kill them. There were others. I still want to follow this path in a way. I mean, I'm glad they put up signs. And I gotta go up here. Oops. 
Their death, our survival. Where'd the other one die? Oh, here. Um, toss ball jerseys. Oh, so many bits. There. Found it. Part of me just wants to try and give it back immediately to uh, Nell. I want to unlock a fast travel area so that I don't have to walk when I... Oh. Oh. What's in here? Okay. Bye bye. Am I too strong? I feel like I'm too strong. <laughs> Maybe I should have started with hard instead of normal. Because it's not like... It's, this is a fully FPS game. It's uh, an RPG still, so... Leveling up is important. Uh, is it this way? Oh, there. Amber Heights. Oh, so it's like a different area. Oh. What's in here? Hello? Anyone? Oops. Oh. Okay, so okay, I need to go back to Stellar Bay. Mm, gotta go to Nell. If you were in charge, would you keep the board around? Of course. Even with all their faults, they are the best chance to maintain order in the colony. I suppose I can appreciate the structure of things. Long as the folks at the top have got the right heads on their shoulders. I mean, that's what we all want, isn't it? Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Found your smelly jerseys. Really? Wait, let me just take a sniff. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Just let it waft right into your nostrils. Okay. That's the smell of pure, unfiltered sportsmanship, baby. Tell Velma that Grim can keep his poster. I've got all I need right here. That, that sounded disgusting. Um, how far is this one? Kind of want to do this one first. Kind of want to change people. What will happen if I just tell him by to go Verity, back to this ship? What are we contemplating today? Will do, Captain. I'll keep an eye on her. In the meantime, take care of yourself out here. 
Okay, so he just goes back. Um, how do I get someone else to join? Uh, I guess I have to go back to the unreliable. Um, uh, I want to change a bit because. Uh, probably Ellie. Uh, yeah, Nyoka and Ellie. Or Felix. Felix good too. Let's do Felix. And then I'll just bring him back after... If we're near the empty man area, whatever. I'm hungry again. Oh wait, I need to give him a better armor. This one, I think. What's this? This is 9, 10, 29. It's this one then. Now you look cool. Oh. Ooh, corporate military? Sure. They're all good. So... Oh, wait. Is it up to three only? Okay. Uh, cuz... If he wants toss ball... Yeah. I guess... Oh, maybe I could change it to this one. Yeah. It would be better. Does look cool. You feel cool, dude. Um, food. And then break it down. Break this one down. Break this one down. This one down. Hello. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. So who are the Iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Hmm. No problems. What about Raptodons or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Gram would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Oh. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. Well, I'm glad I changed Vicar I'm glad then. you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. I inadvertently did kind of the right thing <laughs> by changing out of the Vicar. Because he's probably See, not like well, this. She's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. 
She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Where can I find him? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Where, why are you here, not Stellar B? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. I get it. I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Hold on, I forgot why I'm here. Oh, it's the mother. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he's fine here. <laughs> I don't think he'll want to come back. Anyway, this place looks really good, though. I ought to mention, considering. the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn yeah. on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. I get it. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. <laughs> Hello. Hope Zora sends me up next. Ooh, dissident hunter. Graham taught me how to meditate today. You close your eyes and you breathe real deep and try not to cough. Interesting. Cascade. Guns are really loud. <laughs> really loud. <laughs> Cute. Bunch of junk. Hmm. I said I was gonna tinker my armor so that it matches this one. Did I just spent all my money? Oh well. I'm getting all money back later. Um, did I break down anything? No. Mods. It's already plasma. Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. Huh. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. Nuh-uh. Taro's got that sweet blood. So? You gotta boil it or you'll get sick. Then oh. all that sweetness takes the air anyhow. Nah, don't boil it. We're gonna get sick all the same. Might as well enjoy the infamous Amber Heights. Want the, the folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Mm. Oh, where's Huxley? Oh, here, here are you. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Emporium, huh? Let's see what you got. Sell, sell, sell. I should have sold to him. Sell this, sell this, sell this. 
What are you buying? Uh, anything I can help you? I can do to help you out? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Wow, things are really falling apart in here. That's one way to look at it. Another is, those are the only things in this whole fucking town that are broke. Maybe we appreciate that. I get it. I ought to tell you. Most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. Ooh. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. He ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Where's his terminal? Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. Okay, thanks for the tip. Oh, it's a Halcyon one. Uh... What? This one, okay. So I gotta go up there. This place is so interesting, honestly. Usually in like games like these you go like from one settlement to another settlement. It's interesting how the first settlement was just um uh Oh Huxley's here. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot, area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Without the kicking action. Huh? Why? Y your leg? Oh, ha. You're funny. How'd you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. How long will you be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Sorry to hear that. See you around, Huxley. I think I know who Huxley's voice is. But I can't find where it is. I think Huxley is by Lani Minella. I just want to check. Because she sounds very familiar. Everyone's just staring at me. Um. A trash cube. Yeah, look at him. He just keeps making them. You're fucking weird, Carl. I don't think he can hear you. He's in the zone. The trash cube zone. You gotta admit, they're convenient. Fit together real nice. Trash is trash. I don't care what shape it's in. I guess. Oh, it's not her. Oh, guess I was wrong. Uh, full cast. There. Sorry, I just want to know. It's really killing me because the voice is so familiar.
Oh, it doesn't say. I'll probably find out somehow later. Oh, it says I gotta eat. Ash. Never seen you before. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. You seen you've been around the whole moon. You must know a few things no one else does. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look, you wanna buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Heartbreak, what happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You wanna listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. Ooh. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Oh. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. What they do? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is... I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Uh... What if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. You want mementos? Thereabouts. Can't find them yourself? Getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. It sounds like it too. This joint's looking like my last home. Alright, one lockbox coming right up. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Oh, it's out there. Cute. This place is big, considering it's just a moon, if I'm right. Monarch is a moon, right? <laughs> uh, do I have, like... No. Uh, what was I gonna do here? I was looking for a terminal. You have a terminal? Oh, what's this? No. Is the terminal here? Oh. Hello. Hey, he said there's a terminal. Did I miss something? I don't want to steal his stuff. He's nice to me. It's down there? Here? I don't see anything here. Downstairs, maybe? Oh, here. It's in this house. I can hear it. Oh, that's the vending machine. Um. 
Is it here outside? Oh, it's here outside. Wait, I'm confused. Where's the other one? Over there. Well, I guess I just gotta do that thing. Do it that way then? Uh, I guess I gotta meet this kid now. Tucker. Ooh, it seems like he's part of the cult now. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Um, Captain Luke. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? <sighs> You're a new face too, huh? Yeah, to Amber Heights anyway. Only got here a few weeks ago. Was living in Stellar Bay before then. But I can't tell you how great it is to finally be free of them walls. Free from what? Well, from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been talking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony, getting them to rise up. No rules or limits. Sound like a utopia. It is. Just look at what a paradise Amber Heights is. We could take this world. No. Galaxy wide. You really should talk to Graham. I think you two would get along swell. Aren't the walls up to keep everyone safe? Screw safe. I've had enough of playing it safe to last me a dozen lifetimes. A body's not meant to live such a guarded life. Everybody needs a little danger and excitement. Something to live for. That's what you get outside the walls. And if you're lucky, you find a cause worth bleeding for. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna bleed out here all right. If I do, it'll have been my choice, damn it. The Iconoclast taught me that it's okay to be free to make mistakes. That's a pretty so strong reaction to the topic of safety. Sorry about that. It stems from some uh, family trauma. I don't want to talk about that, though. So you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't I been one that. for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still <laughs> sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell I you. I mean, you're right. I kind of want this one. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? I kind of like this one. You've survived sur outside Stutter Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. 
I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. That's the spirit. No one can. I feel like this is gonna go to shit, but... Go home, kid. No, you're not a kid. That's the thing. He's not a kid. <laughs> uh, what are you guys talking about? Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? I came in from. Uh, let's say I'm new to Monarch and leave it there. Hey, eh? one of them inners from T2. <gasps> Welcome to the little piece of hell we reign over. I'll give you two bits worth of free advice. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like ten percent spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always <laughs> carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? Huh. <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. It's not because some Excuse fancy me. pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Who's respected their whereabouts? Oh. Somebody's organizing things. You've got posted guards. Every soul here knows to keep a weather eye out. Everyone's lost somebody to the wildlife. That didn't stop Miss Zora from picking a few souls and imposing a schedule. Be here then, leave there later. Downright on icon. In mm. icon. Mm. Well, it ain't what we do. Take that on top of what happened on the northern expedition. She and Graham are exchanging harsher words than usual. What makes Graham and Zor such a big deal from the other iconoclasts? When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly Aww. every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. You said Grandma Zora argue a lot. Well, sure. It's on account of how we all work. No iconoclast makes another do as they say just because. You gotta convince them. The Graham and Zora argue all the time just says the process is working. Vigorous intellectual debate. You see? Zora saved nearly everyone's life? Do you get into that much trouble? Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Hmm. I'm guessing the iconoclasts aren't that free, as they say. First, the broken pipes. Here. I can hear it. Oh, it's up there. How do I get up? Get up there. But I'm supposed to get up there, right? Huh? Huh? I'm stuck. Uh.
Oh, is he telling me this terminal? Oh, this was Huxley stuff. I didn't realize. Uh, how do I get up there? You know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. What makes you say that? Well, you got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up, though. You know that, right? Oops. Yeah, right. Next, you're gonna tell me Halcy and Helen weren't based on a real person. I won't tell you that, no. You seem happier in your ignorance. <laughs> you um how do i fix this out uh, how do i fix this i honestly do not know. oh there it is oh gosh well i guess i'm gonna Save here because it's kind of long now. Oh, let me receive just to be sure. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. So, uh, that was this isn't, um, it's this part of the game where it's like really slow, it's like really open because, um, the past two streams was like one giant prologue if you really think about it because yeah because this planet's huge uh i mean it's not a planet this area is huge um it's it's no it's like bigger than edgewater but and it has a lot i mean it has like two two areas already stellar bay and the iconoclasts um yeah and everything's really interesting so far like i feel like I've already forgotten what I'm supposed to do because I'm so busy just immersing myself in the world and in the in all of the stories that everyone makes. And I'm glad that I got all of the companions now because that just means I can mix and match them. Um, um, but I kind of don't want to use Sam that much. That's what I realized. Anyway, um, so excited to uh, play more of this. Um, next stream um if you're if you're thinking am i just gonna keep playing this until i finish the game probably um it won't take too long maybe we'll see um yeah so that's it for today's stream thank you everyone who watched if you're watching this on twitch please leave a follow because that helps a lot and if you're watching this on youtube please like and subscribe to help me because that helps a lot. Um, thank you, everyone, and good. Have a good day.